How do I know if it's running? Recording. I'm here with uh, Dr. David Vago uh, of Harvard University. Uh, David, you've just spent five days here in Dharamshala at the Mind and Life meeting. Would you like to offer a few reflections uh, on your experience of the meeting and of Mind and Life in, in sort of your trajectory as a young scientist? Well, I am. You know, I've been thinking about this meeting of how inspirational it's been. Um, really looking at so many different sort of avenues for research in the future, and I think about uh, you know just my origins, and I, I think I should probably just give a little background of, of where I'm coming from, and I think it makes total sense of where I'm going now. Um, coming, you know, in 2003, I was a graduate student uh, at the University of Utah doing basic neuroscience work and learning and memory with animals and always struggled to try to incorporate my own personal life and my personal meditation practice into my professional life which was the science. I never thought it would really be possible and uh, one day uh, I saw this advertisement for Mind and Life Institute, the Summer Research Institute specifically, and I went and it was excellent. There was a lot of like-minded individuals who were also in the neurosciences and interested in contemplative practice and uh, I think I found it, uh, sort of my path before me which was to somehow incorporate, to investigate the mind um, from just another perspective and that perspective has just been um, from within and returning back to what was in the late 19th century, you know, introspection is just another technique of investigating the mind and these dialogues that we've been having um, for the last 20 years and now these young scientists like myself and you and Sona have, and Amishi have sort of starting to uh, infiltrate the field um, from uh, a very beginning level, from assistant professor level, from postdoctoral level and um, there are hundreds of people like us who are interested in investigating the mind from this angle and um, you know, I'm still doing learning and memory research, but I'm interested in looking at resiliency and how that, how meditation practice may actually uh, improve resiliency to, to prevent developing some sort of psychopathology and looking at the neural mechanisms behind that. And these meetings just continually reinforce how, how important it is to really focus on the applications of, of the basic sciences and seeing how we can improve the human condition. And I think that's really what the, the sort of the genuine take-home message from these meetings are is to, to see how basic research can really be applied into reducing suffering and um, uh, preventing psychopathology and um, improving well-being throughout the world. And so it's just an honor and privilege to be here um, from multiple levels, from a professional level and a personal level. It happened to be my birthday while I was here, so it was very nice to be here in the Great to celebrate that with mountain. you. Yeah. Beautiful mountains, yeah. beautiful setting, and thank you for all the yeah. hard work you did to help this meeting. And thank you all for being interested in Mind and Life. Namaste. <laughs>